Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tag video. I haven't filmed one in a hot second. I saw this video on a few different friends' channels and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make that video and I don't think I've done this tag before, so yeah, let's get into it. Also, you guys, I don't know who created this tag, but if I do find it, I will go ahead and link it down in the cards. And if you guys are content creators, please consider yourself tagged. And please film this video because we are all nosy fucking bitches and we would love to know what you guys are thinking for these questions. So, first question, popular makeup product you don't like? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so there's a few. One of the things that I feel like is really popular is that Lancome Tint Adol Foundation. I don't know why I can't get myself a color match to save my life. I feel like the tan shades all go like gray on me, so I decided to give up on that particular foundation a long, long time ago. I'm a little bit peeved that Marc Jacobs won't make more than one bronzer shade. I think it's a little bit unfair that he's holding out on the tan skin girls. It pisses me off, but it's nothing to do with the product. I just want it to be included. Like, thank you so much. Popular makeup product brand that everyone else seems to hate but you love. That one's easy. I feel like Jeffree Star for sure. A lot of people really don't like him. I personally just am in it for the makeup, you guys. I'm not here to sit and preach to you what you should think. I personally love his liquid lipsticks. I feel like he is one of the brands that actually makes liquid lipsticks that are very flattering on my skin tone. I have a whole bunch of nudes from him. I want to do like a collection video on these sometime. The shade allegedly I love to wear. I love Thick as Thieves. I love to wear his shade Androgyny. Some of these shades are just so good. And Leo, is this Leo? Yeah, these nudes look so good on my skin tone. And I'm so happy because they're not like pinky nudes. They're more mauve and like peachy nudes, which I love. And I love his blood sugar palette. I have it, I wanna review it for you guys sometime. It's just good makeup. It's all about the makeup for me. As long as somebody hasn't personally harmed me i feel like i i just i'm just i'm not god you guys i can't tell people what to do number three makeup collab you didn't like or were not interested in i haven't prepped for this video so all my answers are off the cuff if there's something i miss definitely let me know but the two that come to mind right away are the mac patrick star collab that was so uninteresting i would have even bought something just to support the guy because, come on, it's like a Filipino male. He is, you know, got this like fluid gender thing going on, which is cool. I would have loved to support somebody from, you know, Asian background getting a collab with Mac Cosmetics, but there's nothing there that I wanted. And I can't just keep justifying buying things to help YouTubers get rich. And the other one that comes to mind too is Violet Voss and the Nicole Concilio palette. I actually really like the Violet Boss eyeshadow formula, but something about her personality and that palette just look, irks me. So I, yeah, I didn't really like that. <laughs> I was not interested in that makeup collab one bit. Number four, popular makeup step that you never do. I think the popular makeup step I never do is bake. I see so many people with like a pound of loose powder under their eyes, and I know the baking thing works. I do it sometimes, but I just don't have the time to sit there and let my powder like sink in and then brush it off. I think it's really cool that it works on people and people have the time to do it. And I wish I had the time to do it, but most of the time I'm skipping baking. Number five, popular beauty influencer you don't subscribe to, watch. <laughs> this is hot shady tea though, lol. Um, I feel like I have the same answer as most people, uh, Jaclyn Hill. Wait, am I subscribed to Jacqueline Hill? I go back and forth. At this point, I think I am unsubscribed to her because I just can't take it anymore. Plus, she doesn't really ever upload. Manny, Laura Lee, unsubscribed from them. I think it happens with most channels for me. Sometimes I get bored and I don't enjoy the content anymore, so I unsubscribe and then I go back and then I forget and I go back and I forget, so. I don't think that's necessarily tea. I just think it's a part of life. Like people change their minds about things all the time. So that's the, you know, real tea on that. Popular makeup product or brand that you don't use or support anymore. Okay, I know the one for this. So shockingly, 
When I was younger, I loved Tarte. Like, I loved their blush. I was really obsessed with their blush palettes for some reason, and they're like, like little round brush blush sets that they came out with for holidays. So I had a ton of Tarte blushes. I bought their holiday palettes, da 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 da. And I don't know, I think after all the little controversies with them, and I think just being a part of the YouTube beauty community and realizing that there are so many other brands out there, they've really just fallen off the radar for me. I know none of their foundation shades actually work with my skin tone. They're always like the wrong shade or something. I wrote them off of foundation. I didn't really like the Tarte Shape Tape. I know that's a very unpopular opinion because everyone fucking loves the Tarte Shape Tape. I personally don't think the coverage of the Tarte Shape Tape is that great. So yeah, Tarte is definitely one of the brands I used to love but I don't support anymore. Number seven, makeup trend that you have no interest in trying. So I think for me, this is gonna sound crazy, I know a lot of people are really into that no makeup makeup look where they're actually not wearing makeup. I have some friends that can pull off the no makeup, no makeup look really well, like very light foundation, very glowy skin, blah 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 blah. And I love glowy skin, don't get me wrong, but I love full coverage foundation so for me it's like oh great like you don't want to wear foundation like that's the funnest part one of the funnest things about makeup for me is a really good full coverage foundation that gives you like that flawless base where you can put on a blush or a bronzer and it's just gonna fucking pop on my skin oh my gosh like literally makeup porn because I love how a full coverage foundation makes my face look. <laughs> Number eight, and this is the last question. Make a product that was better in theory than when you used it. Either swatch better or work better on others than on you. Okay, so the two products I that come to mind right away, the first thing is liquid highlighters. I don't know what it is about me, but I am just not a fan of liquid products in general and liquid highlighters in particular. I feel like I see like beauty gurus, they're like doing their tutorials and they'll take their beauty blender and they'll just like pounce, pounce, pounce and they have this beautiful like beaming highlight and I'm like, it never looks like that for me. So that's one. And in particular, just like the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, I do own one or two of them and I like to mix it in with my foundation but just putting it on my face on top of foundation always just ends up looking in my opinion not so great so yeah that and then the other product that comes to mind as well is primer I think a lot of people love primers and primers are really great I don't feel like I personally need a primer so I tend to avoid primers. I have like a Becca primer. It's that, it's right there. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's the shimmery Becca primer. And I just feel like I don't need it. And so I think it's great in theory because it's supposed to give you like this luminous glow. But I feel like to me, it's like, I, I like the idea of it better than I do how it actually looks on me. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this tag video. It was really quick, it was really fun. If you want to make it, please feel free to do so. And Earl is here to say bye-bye. And thank you so much for watching our video. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.